Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, I would like to present the findings regarding traffic count survey report. So these are the presentation outline for this video. So the first one is about the study. So the study area was chosen which is located at a T-junction intersection situated between Persiaran Pujong Perdana and Jalan Teratai in Taman Pujong Perdana, Pujong Selangor. So the aim of the study is to examine the traffic volume and traffic condition of the study area by conducting a manual traffic count survey. So the, there are four objectives that have been outlined which is the first one is to provide the road information and road condition, identify the surrounding land use, analyze the traffic volume from the traffic count data survey, and the last one is identify issues and problems and provide recommendations for improvement. The next one, finding for objective one. So there are two roads involved in the study area, which is Jalan Teratai and Persian Pujong Padana. For Jalan Teratai, is classified as JKR U3 which function as collector roads in the urban areas. The carriageway is a two-lane single carriageway. So Persiaran and Puchong Perdana, they have a two types of dimensions and also the carriageway. As Persiaran Puchong Perdana is along the housing area and industrial area. So the classification is JKR U ticker which function as a collector road and the carriageway is a two lane single carriageway and four lane single carriageway. So there are five types of road feature that we found during the observation which is speed bumps, pedestrian roadways, stop signage, road signage, road name signage and bus stop signage. So the next one is finding for objective 2 which is to identify the surrounding land use. So within 1 km in the study area, they are mainly consists of housing, commercials, industry, public facilities and open space land use. So these land use will generate urban activities to the surrounding populations and will involve local residents to travel from this area to meet the needs. So within 10 km, it can be seen that these roads in the study areas are connected with the transportation from the other roads which can connect to the other cities and also it can be identified that this study area also can be connected to the other neighborhood of housing areas and other business district of commercial area in the business district. The next one is findings for objective 3 which traffic volumes and level of service. So. This table shows the hourly traffic volume V in the PCU units for session 1 during the weekend non-peak hour, session 2 during the weekend peak hour, session 3 during the weekday non-peak hour and the session 4 during the weekday peak hour. So from this table, it shows that session 4 have the highest hourly traffic volume and also it can be found that road section C in and B out receive the high hourly traffic volume in all shared sessions. As for the level of service, the, all the road section for all sessions have a A level with the range of from 0 0.03 to 0 0.27 of VC ratio which indicate that these roads are in a free flow traffic at all time. The last one is the findings for objective 4. There are three issues that, that can be identified during the observation. The first one is physical obstruction on the road. These issues caused by the illegal parking behavior from the nearby residents and also there are some time the residents con organize ceremony by install the tent on the road which might cause a lot road closure at Jalan Teratai. And the second one is unfriendly working experience for pedestrians. It can be seen that Jalan Teratai is only occupied with drainage reserves which are not suitable for the pedestrians and also there are no crossing elements that existed in the Persian Puchuk Rangin. And the third one is the limited safety precaution at playing court nearby. 
this can issue occur as visitors are not secure when playing at this playing court as the sport equipment may reaching the on the road and cause the unsafe condition for the visitors there are three recommendations that are suggested which is the first one is prohibition of any obstacle on the road so local authority can prohibit the illegal parking and also the installation of tank as on the road as this road is important to the surrounding areas so the second one is provision of crossing element on the road local authority can, prov can provide crossing elements such as zebra code that can connect local residents to the nearby public facilities uh, safely and the last one is installation of the different wall that playing court nearby this can be done by installation different wall that can defend any sport equipment from reaching the road which can make the visitors safe and also the traffic flow smoothly without any obstructions so that's all from me thank you